welcome back to the House of Hughes. Are you saying hi? Blakely's got some tears because we just did her hair and it was a sacrifice, let me just tell you. But I'm so excited for today's video because Blakely and I are going on a little mommy-daughter date. We're going with my best friend and her little boy who is 10 months older than Blakely. You know that I have some serious anxiety about going out with Beckham and Blakely both in public by myself. And I have some huge goals this year to really get over that, but it's actually a little bit too cold today for Hunter to be working. So I'm actually going to leave Beckham here at home with Hunter so they can have some daddy son time and we're going somewhere that Beckham really wouldn't enjoy. And you guys know that it's kind of hard for me not to feel guilt when I take Blakely to do activities that Beckham can't do, but that is something that I'm working on because I obviously don't want Blakely to miss out, and I know that a time will come when Beckham can enjoy all of those activities. <gasps> Bear! She thinks every stuffed animal's name is Bear. We are going to the Museum of Natural Curiosity or something like that, I don't know. My friend Leslie is like the best at all of this mom stuff. So I let her plan the whole thing and I think it's just like tons of fun things for the kids to play on and I really think that Blakely is going to have so much fun. So I'm going to try and vlog as much of it as I can for you and take you guys along with us. Are you excited? She's excited, you just have to look past the tears because sis did not do very good with mommy putting her hair in a pony. And we all know that the pony's going to be out by the time we get there anyway. Cheers! I actually think that this road is going to be okay to vlog on, but if it's not, just like rip to me, and I'm so sorry. I promise I'll never do this to you guys again. I'm not gonna lie, it was like a little bit awkward for me to have to make the decision if I'm going to take Beckham with me today. And of course, if Hunter wasn't home, I would be happy to take both of my kids. However, this is an experience that Beckham really wouldn't get anything out of. And I would basically just have him in his stroller the entire time. And you guys will see when we get there why that would be the case. But I know there's other things that we're going to do this summer that Beckham would actually really enjoy, like going to a splash pad. That's something that I could definitely make a fun experience for him and allow him to experience it even if it's in a different way than Blakely experiences it. I would definitely say that navigating these types of things with both of my kids is one of the most difficult things when it comes to having two children that are so different because I love them equally and it feels odd to sometimes have to pick to cater to one over the other. But I also think it's so important that I find times where I can cater to Blakely because a lot of our lives are definitely catered to Beckham as it should be. But I want her to be able to have these super fun experiences and me not to say no to my friends who have kids that could really have a good time with Blakely even though it pushes me just a little bit out of my comfort zone. I also am realizing that I just like slammed a built bar and I haven't looked in the viewfinder or in the mirror. And so if I have chocolate all over my face, you know me, I digress. I think that today is going to be really fun and I'm actually gonna run a couple errands with Blakely after we go and just let her nap in the car today. And I also think that will be good for me to just go out with the baby because it's not something that I do like ever and I don't know why that's so hard for me. I think part of it is because of just like the state that the world is in and just being nervous, being a woman by myself with a baby. But I know it's not feasible for me not to get comfortable with that at some point. And I also think that it's brought me some peace deciding that Hunter and I, for the time being, are not going to have another baby, at least in the near future, so that I can kind of get used to my circumstances now and adapt more to this and feel more confident in this phase of life before transitioning into something else. I really hope when I go back and edit this clip that I was in focus the whole time and I really am gonna get that GoPro, I promise you guys, but I just don't wanna do it until I get my new car. But thank you for coming along with us. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit that red subscribe button so you can join the fam. 
We are almost to 25,000, which I am so excited about. I know it's gonna be really cool to look back on this video in the future and be like, oh my gosh, that is so cool that I was at 25,000 then and to see where I'm at at that point. So I just wanna thank you guys so much for constantly supporting me and supporting my channel. We will see you guys when we get to the museum. I forgot to add, this is also gonna be interesting because Blakely is kind of shy. At least I think she's shy. Like that's me diagnosing her personality. <laughs> so we will see if it makes her nervous to kind of play with other kids or if she kind of comes out of her shell a little bit. So this will be fun for all of us to watch. Okay, I'm just waiting for my cute friend to get here. Just like shout out to all of the moms who understand that it is nearly impossible to be on time to anything. Like if I have a friend who doesn't understand that I will probably be late, then we're just gonna struggle in our friendship. And I feel bad, you guys know I've talked about this. I feel bad, but it's just something I can't control. <laughs> Blakely, the entire time that we were driving here, I was like playing music and she was literally like singing along in the car. It's so cute. If I play music from anywhere at any time, she will start to sing along. I need to try and capture it on camera one of these Catch. days. Yes, yeah, Izzy, are you excited? She's so cute. <laughs> Hi, Susie. Oh my goodness, you're gonna drive? Okay. <laughs> oh, look, perfect. Look at mommy's little spot. <laughs> That's this beautiful girl. So, Blakers, I heard that it's International Women's Day or week or something like that. So I would just like to celebrate you and the beautiful woman that you are. You're perfect. Yes, you are. One going on 16. What is going on, sissy? You looking at all the things? She's like, mommy, there's a lot of buttons up here. There's a lot of buttons, huh? Hi, cutie. <laughs> Did you find mommy's phone? You guys look, she's like a little teenager. And can we believe that the ponytail made it? I can't. <laughs> oh, you're just gonna have a protein drink? That's a good idea. You thirsty? <laughs> Back to the phone, that makes sense.
we just got finished and oh my gosh that was so much fun so shout out to you leslie for planning that blakely is so timid it's hilarious while we were in there i was like she is the definition of like a drunk little human she just gets like really nervous so she doesn't touch a lot of things which is honestly not like a bad thing speaking of that i am gonna wipe her hands off just with a little clorox not clorox a little baby wipe but she had such a fun time. She was so entertained. She loved the slide. I was helping her go down the slide so I wasn't able to get any footage of it. But there was like little stairs up to like a little mini slide and she had so much fun. So I definitely want to take her back. I also think it would be fun for Hunter to go and see it. Well, honestly, it would probably give Hunter anxiety. But you know what? It'd be good for him to get out of his shell just like I am. But we had so much fun. So now we are going to run a few errands together. We're going to do a little bit of grocery shopping for dad while he's home with Beckham. Huh, sis? And then we will head home and see what the boys are up to. Blakely fell asleep because I'm running a couple of errands. So I just picked up a swig and I'm waiting for them to bring out my Chick-fil-A order. So I'm just going to eat that in the car while she sleeps and then I'm going to head to Trader Joe's, which is about 20 minutes away. So that should also give her a good nap before I have to wake her up to go into the grocery store. But if she's still asleep, then I might just kind of let her chill for a second. It's kind of fun to be like out and about with her because we never really do this, which sounds silly, but it's just true. I'm not gonna lie, I have been waiting forever for this Chick-fil-A order. I am starving, but I kind of love like a comfy car moment vibe. I'm just gonna like pull out my phone and watch some TV. <laughs> which I never do in the middle of the day. But I've kind of been thinking about how I'm gonna make sure that I am successful long-term on YouTube. And I feel like I'm definitely someone with the type of work ethic that just like grinds. When I set my mind to something then I am just like, go, go, go. And I really wanna make sure that I have balance in my life. I've told you guys that my goal is to have five videos uploaded every week by the end of the year. So right now I'm at four but I started the beginning of the year at three, so I feel like I'm progressing in the right direction. Ultimately though, I would love to be uploading a video every single weekday at noon, and I definitely think that I'm going to get there soon. But that basically means that I need to be vlogging like every single day, which can be taxing, but I have to admit that ever since I started my YouTube channel, I have never said like a negative word about it. I love being able to talk to you guys. I love pulling out the camera. I love to talk. It's just my personality to be so open. So I really feel like this is what God has called me to do, as silly as that seems. So I'm definitely going to be vlogging more, which means I'm gonna take you guys on just like my day-to-day -day adventures, which I personally think will be really fun. And I think it connects us more makes me feel like we're best friends. I'm hoping at Trader Joe's that I find some yummy goodies that I can try for you guys on camera because you know that that's my favorite. Hunter is also not working today because it's so stinking cold outside. So I'm also kind of soaking up this time that I have with him because it's only in March that I get cold weather days where he doesn't work. The rest of the season, he's gone every day no matter what. We just finished at Trader Joe's. You know me, I obviously found a couple new things that I have to try on camera for you guys. So I found these peanut butter cocoa marshmallows and then I also got dark chocolate covered espresso beans. So I'm excited to try both of these and I wanted to do it on camera with you. You guys know that I am hardcore addicted to Trader Joe's and I love trying new things when I go. This smells amazing. Hunter is gonna love these. He loves peanut butter. Okay, this is what it looks like. Cute. Oh, that's so good. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, that's bad. That's really bad. Meaning that's really freaking good. That's delicious. I would legit give that like a nine out of 10. The only reason it's not a 10 out of 10, it'll be a 10 out of 10 for Hunter. I'm not like the biggest peanut butter person, but for being peanut butter chocolate, that is amazing. Next is the espresso beans. I'm gonna love these, I can already tell. Mm. Those are amazing. Just tastes like chocolate coffee, basically. I've had espresso beans before, but never from Trader Joe's, and these are super delicious. And you can have 16 for 140 calories. And there's obviously gotta be some caffeine in here because it's espresso, but I don't see where it tells like the intake, but maybe a nice little pick me up if you wanna eat your coffee instead of drink it. I'm legit gonna go put these back in my trunk or I will eat the entire thing on the way home because it's that good. Look who mama found. Look who mommy found here at home. Bless you, sissy. 
Oh, Baba was in the mood to cuddle. This is so sweet, Baba. Okay, Mommy just needs to put away all of the groceries, okay? He's like, no, no, let me help. Oh, so sweet. Look at his legs, you guys. All the way around my waist. Absolutely crazy. Never could have done that without the Botox. We are back home with these little love bugs. Bye-bye. This is you have your penguin. She will always take the penguin and put it where he can't reach it. Sissy, you gotta share. Here, baby. Let's share with Bubba. Take a handsome. Share, Sissy. Good girl. No, 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 sis. Sissy. <laughs> we gotta share. Look at Beckham's face of pure innocence. Here, Baba, would you prefer a different toy anyway? We're cooler than that one, huh? <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> Did, you... Did you want to say something to all of your friends about your play date today? Was it fun? Did you have a good time? Oh, we got distracted. Oh, you're gonna go back and give it to Bubba? Good girl. We were so close, weren't we? So close. <laughs> Good job, Beckham. Look at him spin that little thing. He's so smart. So as you guys know, I've had Blakely all day. I walk in the door and Hunter's like, oh my goodness, thank goodness you're home. I'm gonna go take a bath. <laughs> I'm like, honey, you know that I had one baby the entire day, right? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He's the best dad ever. And I actually came home to a perfectly clean home, which is so sweet. Hunter knows that that just makes me so happy so I don't have to clean and I can just like get to work right away. He is just the best and we are really going to miss him since he's not gonna be around as much. But you know, I was telling him that when it gets to the point of him opening up another branch, sorry about the baby music, but I've noticed it's not quite as loud as I think it is when I'm editing, so hopefully you guys don't mind. But I told him when he opens up another branch, I would love for us to buy another home in like Arizona or Texas, somewhere that's warm year round. That way it's for business and we can have a nice second home. But that is obviously in the future, but I'm manifesting. So I thought I'd tell you guys about it to manifest even further. Hi Chloe, everyone's been requesting to see you. Can you say hi to the vlog? Say hi to the vlog. Good girl. Hi. You watching daddy? Oh. Oh, I'll come right back. <laughs> she goes, dad. Dad, 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 dad. Okay. Did daddy go upstairs? How dare he? <laughs> All right guys, Sissy wants to help me close out the vlog. Don't you baby girl. She has loved being the star of the show for a change, haven't you, baby? I definitely want to try and do this more because it's, you know, a big jump for me, but I feel like today went perfectly. And Sis loved having her mama to herself. So I'm actually planning on going to lunch with a friend tomorrow, and I think I'm going to take Blakely with me again. Hunter is not going to be working for, I think, the entire week, right, babe? Because, the yeah, the weather is so bad. Literally the high is like 25, so kind of crazy. So I'm kind of taking this opportunity to like sneak away, or maybe I'll take Beckham tomorrow instead of Blakely, or maybe I'll try to take both. I don't know, that still sounds a little scary, but I will see. So I'm gonna document this journey no matter how dumb it feels, and I feel like I'm really gonna be able to come out of my shell and take my kids with me and do lots of fun activities. So I'm excited for vlogs during the summer, you guys know. Can you imagine Blakely in a splash pad, first of all, but then little Beckham, I wanna get him like a little umbrella stroller. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Oh, Baba, no, I'm gonna tell him to be brave right now. Of course, we wanna remind you guys to be brave like Beckham. If Beckham can do it, then so can you, and we'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Bye.